Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Habitual Line Crosser. What is going on? Why is my... There, there we go. We got 222 people in here. I didn't intercept all of you. Ben, I don't know if you'd know. I don't know if you would. Thank God it's Friday. You replaced watching Urkel. Nice. Mr. Kaw, how's it going? Howdy. What is going on, Nemo? Have I missed anything important? I'm just looking at the, the stuff here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You may notice on that side... The puppy cam is off right now, and that is because the puppies will not be on with us tonight. They are hanging out with family downstairs. So the family may or may not be watching the stream right now. If you see Mrs. Linecrosser in here, uh, that's probably, uh, I put the danger in danger close. I thought that was a good, good joke. I thought that was solid. Um, it didn't hit as good as I wanted it to, but it was really good. Why were the buff and the raptor on the thumbnail? Because every time I go live, it just does that. It takes my, um... Sorry, this is my ice cream fish. I get these from a little Korean store. They're like... It's like a, a ice cream cone that looks like a fish, and they're filled with ice cream, and they're delicious. How's it shaking? Um, honestly, since it started to get warm outside, uh, a lot more. When it was cold, no. <laughs> Red bean? Yes. This was red bean. It's delicious. Greetings from my vacation hotel in Bonn, Germany. What is going on, Spartan? I love your content, HLC. Thank you for being here, Eagle. I really appreciate it. The Raptor was the best way to finish it. I really, I, you guys, you guys, like, you love, I didn't know how far that statement was going to go. You guys have spread it like wildfire, and I love it. It's great, man, because, like, I'll peruse. I have a Reddit. It's not actually mine. Like, it's not, like, an HLC one. It's just, a, like, a fake one. I scroll through Reddit and read shit. And um, I will see people saying it. You know, would you intercept me? I'd intercept me. It's it's wonderful. I did not know how far it was going to be. What I think about what happened in Moscow, ISIS claim responsibility, but Russia's insisting it's Ukraine. So here's the thing. I will tell you this, as uh, as an American, we know firsthand how dangerous terrorism can be. Doesn't matter where it comes from. Terrorism, by definition, is inciting fear or violence for political or religious purposes. These could also be geopolitical reasons. So, by definition, this act, whether or not it's Ukraine or ISIS, is an act of terrorism. I will never personally. I got it. My beef is with the government of Russia and the way they're running things, not the innocent people. Of Russia. I don't know many more details than that. I haven't really looked too far into it. But gunning down innocent people, regardless of what country they come from, I personally will never get behind that. So, am I going to find a way to make a joke about it? Absolutely. I haven't figured that out yet, but we're, we're going to talk about it eventually. I need an official subreddit. Oh, God. F14. I don't have time. I, I would love to. I, I just, it's another social media. Like, I, I want to get an X, but I, I don't have time. Best tasting crayon? Mm, I'm going to say green. At least they were when I was in elementary school and I actually used to eat them. Hey, man, did you know that the sweetest FMJ has asked Saab to start concepting the next gen of Swedish fighters to replace the Gripen? I did not know that. Military history nerd. That's actually super cool. I found out something very recently. Weapons, what is going on? Weapons may get a kick out of this. So, uh, in case you guys were unfamiliar... Um, Years ago, we got rid of something called the M M6 Bradley Linebacker. It was a Bradley, like we see in Ukraine right now, but instead of having tow missiles, it had stingers on it. Now, what is a stinger? Well, a stinger is a small missile about, I don't know, four feet long. Uh, they travel at Mach 2.2. They have about one and a half pound charge on them, and they're really good at taking down rotary wing and small drones. Really, really effective at that. They're heat seekers. And those things are 100 Super Chat? I saw the super chat. My, my nephew's now, now you know, in trouble with me. Or he's... I, it's, I, I, my nephew's doing his thing. But anyways, so um, they are bringing back the Bradley linebacker. I didn't know that. They're bringing it back, but they're having several different variants, and I would not be surprised if we saw directed energy variant. Um, I guess BAE Systems just got the contract to be able to do that, and so I'm excited for some of the variants that they have. Hang on. Uh, 
There we go. All right. Hi, above the best. We are Army Aviation USA. Hello from Fort Eustis. What state is Fort Eustis in? I've never even heard of that, but I do fuck with Army Aviation. F-22's true ground pro is the P-51D Mustang. Mmm. You know, I can't be mad at you for that. The P-51 is just, it's, it was a great aircraft. It was, I would say that it was the last great, how do I word this? It was the last prop, turbo prop or whatever they're called with the fucking, the, the things on front of them. Um, air superiority fighter. I will say that. I, at least there are some that would that would make the argue argument for the Spitfire. Spitfire is a little bit older than the P-51. Uh, there's, there's a few different arguments that are out there. So, uh, But hello, Lord Clang. Hold on. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't miss any. Virginia? Eustace is in Virginia? I was in Virginia. I was at Fort Pickett. Ugh, awful place. You do not... You do not want to happen what finds out when you hide the crayons. Hear me out. Why not Grandpa Buff's XB, a cargo plane like a C-37? Considered it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to make uh, Eustace. I don't know what I'm going to make her. I haven't figured that out yet. It's not... Uh, we're not there yet. Um... I'm trying to get Mrs. Line Crosser to uh, to play a part, but oh, propeller! There you go. Thank you, weapons. <laughs> He's, he, he is having an aneurysm already. Every Friday. So, if you guys don't know, weapons is uh, an old weapons guy, uh, weapons and ammo guy for uh, like A10s and other shit uh, in the Air Force. And uh, when I talk about aviation, uh, he has small strokes and aneurysms. Um, poor guy, but uh, we're getting there. I'm, I'm being edumacated. Uh, let me see. Uh, since Russia showed how incompetent it is and China has water in its nukes, do we have a near peer that's not an ally? Go Army, beat Navy. Army daughter and sis here. So um, how do I word this? Oh, Mrs. Line Crosser says, I have agreed to voice a character. You just haven't given me one yet. Bet. We're going to figure out who Eustace is and you're going to be it. Because Grandpa Buff has some serious things to unravel there, and that could provide just a wonderful amount of uh, um, character development. But anyways, um, I don't know. So it is the thing. I, I think one of the most dangerous things anyone can do is underestimate an enemy. Um, even if your weapons are not good, if you have a lot of them and a lot of people to throw at the problem, you can still cause a lot of damage. So China has one of the largest standing armies. Actually, I believe it is the largest standing army in the world, but it could be I Iran. Would you understand? Not Iran, me? fucking India. Real men. Accept me. Fifty dollars from real men have little dogs. Mrs. Linny Crosser needs to be the XB seventy. Damn it, man! Give us the Valkyrie. <laughs> Still love you, but <laughs> the Valkyrie. Let me find out when the Valkyrie came around. I need to do some more homework on it. I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. XB seventy Valkyrie. Mrs. Line Crosser, if you're watching, do some homework on the Valkyrie. Find out when it came around. Create that character for me. Uh, hiya, Habit, how have you been? Raven Queen Shinobi. Um, I've been good. I mean, honestly, this week it just it just it 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 drug on. But I've had family here. Been very, you know, it's always a good time when you get family around. Um, love my family. I've always been pretty close with my family, at least some of my family, and they're all uh, you know coming out here. They're very supportive of me and my endeavors. Uh, they're very supportive of this crazy uh crazy thing that we're doing here the social media stuff i mean it's really strange for to if you think about it but i'm i'm so ex excited ammo no please no okay what i thought you were an old ammo guy my bad i dare you to send a pitch to netflix about creating a teen adult animated comedy sitcom based around your characters jokes and history <clears throat> hold on I'm a little ahead of you, a little behind you. I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm Did gonna leave it at that. Me? That's it. That's all you're getting right now. I'd intercept me. I fifty dollars from Brandon Gaza. Brent, oh, Mrs. Linecrosser. Haven't been able to hop on for a few. Yes, Mrs. Linecrosser. Can't stick around, but just wanted to drop in, say hi, and send some love. Hang Hope on. Paul is well. I know. I, I didn't plan on it. Fucking awesome. 
Have a great weekend, right. everyone. Bye. All right, hold on. I missed some of that because Mrs. Line Crosser is like, don't spoil anything. I'm like, I'm, I don't plan on it. Lots of love for Sister Line Crosser. Yeah, she, she is not here right now, but she's uh, she's awesome. What do balloons taste like, Raptor? They taste like depression. All right, Brandon Garza, I do want to address you, man. Brandon Garza, he's honestly, love this dude. Really great guy. I'm glad you're here. Hey, HLC, haven't been able to hop on for a few streams. Can't stick around, but just wanted to drop in and say hi and show some love. Hope all is well. Keep being fucking awesome. Have a great weekend, everyone. Brandon, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm not going to give out too many details, but Brandon was one of those people who reached out to me and, and really made me enjoy uh, what I do. So Brandon, I hope you're doing well, man. I hope everything's going great for you. Thank you so much for the donation, dude. You are awesome. Late 1950s and ended in 66? Hmm. I didn't oh my gosh, we got another 50. dollars from Jason Mitchell. Have used this by being a KC-10. I consider that. I've had a lot of people ask for tankers. KC-10s, KC-135s. KC, um, like, I've had a lot of people ask for tankers. I, I, gotta, I gotta read about the planes. So, like, what I read about planes is, is how I really create the character. Now, Grandpa Buff, I mean, he just... The name Buff, like, I figured that out. I didn't give him that name. I don't know if you guys know that. I, I never gave Buff that name. If somebody else came up with it. And I was like, Buff, that's kind of cool. That's nickname-ish. Maybe if they were, like, old. Maybe, I mean, he's an old plane. Yeah, he's a grandpa style. But this dude has caused a lot of damage. And he has fought a lot. So that's how I created Grandpa Buff. You know, the F-22, I read about him. And I was like, it's, it's a scary, scary plane. But it never got to do anything. So it was either that or, like, a like a whiny little teenager and i think i really went with the great character there so i tanker is i need to bring in tankers because there's there's a lot i can do there with kc's i really need to bring them in and i apologize that i haven't done it yet you're going to need to make one for m shore and thad got to represent the duck hunters i do i really do man i i you know here's the thing i i wish so I don't have his personal phone number, but I've met Lay McNasty. If you guys don't know who Lay McNasty is, he does these videos where like, you know, he was a teacher and kids will be doing something. He's like, why are you up? Like, that's his thing that he's known for. And I would love to have him voice a radar system. Like have an enemy missile coming in and he's just like, why are you up? And I, I, at least to me as an air defender, I find that hilarious. Um... White boy, thank you so much for the donation, my dude. Uh, have used this be a C5? I don't know. C5 is kind of new, and they're they're woefully unreliable. That's the only thing that I, I don't I don't I don't vibe with. Also, Goku. Oh yeah, Nemo. Nemo, you know he's hilarious. Scottish Jazz thirty nine A Gripen. A Scottish Gripen. I feel like the Swedes would get mad at me because isn't the Gripen? Isn't the Gripen Swedish? Or am I thinking of something else? Would you intercept me? How about the P8 Poseidon? Not a half bad idea. Intercept me. $50 from Raven Queen Shinobi. I've been wearing my buff shirt a lot lately and have lots of love for Grandpa. Your videos really bring a lot of smiles to me and my husband. We're about to take some long deserved leave and just maybe I can get him to jump on these streams. Raven Queen Shinobi. Thank Whoa! We Would got another one! Rob! Me? Daddy Rob! I'd intercept me, Daddy. One hundred dollars from Rob Castle. Damn you, HLC. <laughs> was watching an old documentary about U.S. air power in the Gulf. No one knows I watch you. Almost instantly, someone did the buff, the C-130, and others. <laughs> even the F-22, even though it wasn't there, loved it anyway. Oh man, no hummers though. No, no, I know. We're uh, I, I, st don't worry. I'm getting the character. I actually have somebody I'm going to collab with. For the Hummer character. I, I got an idea. We're, we're going to go with it. I'm going to make it happen. Don't worry. Um, thank you so much, Rob. Daddy Rob. That's Daddy Rob, everybody. Daddy Rob. Um, Raven Queen Shinobi, I would love to have your husband jump on one of these streams. I try and keep up as much as I can. Uh, Texas, you're an ex-Air Force history nut. I, there may be a rare opportunity, folks, in my near future while I'm still in... Um, I'm still saying Grippen wrong. Is it Grippen? Gripen? It's a Swede. I thought it was Gripen. Um, anyways, there's a there's a near So there's a it's not a museum, it's a training support facility because everything inside there is like almost everything inside there is still functional. Like 
if you have old three inch rounds, which don't really exist anymore, you can put them in the three inch gun in there and it'll fire. If you have uh, 50 cals, you can put them in the 50 cals in there and they'll fire. If you put gas in and fucking fuses and batteries in some of the missiles, the missiles will still fire. Like it's, it's all functional. And I may have a rare opportunity to be a part of it. So I'm super excited. Couples are stronger in therapy. I mean, I don't disagree with you, Mirandy. We used to pee on Westover's electric fence. What? I already did to grab a buff voice toasty the toast crunch. I try and stay on top of it as much as I can. Uh, somebody said some S400 Patriot. Um, so here's the thing. Buff, buff, buffooganism. Okay. I want you to compare these things. And I'm not being a smart ass here. Okay. May of last year, the US, well, the Ukrainian Patriot uh, system in Kiev was hit by a complex attack. I'm talking drones, I'm talking uh, Iskanders, I'm talking uh, caliber cruise missiles, and of course, uh, Kinzels. Um, and I believe that was everything. And the system came out the other side in one piece and continues to shoot to this day. That was a complex attack. 30 different things were fired. Oh, was it 30? 15 or 20, maybe. Uh, different things were thrown at it. And it walked out the other side. I challenge you, I genuinely do, and I'm not being a smartass because I haven't been able to find it, the time an S-400 has dealt with a complex attack like that and come out the other side in one piece. If you find one, I would love the reference because I do want to do good comparisons of air defense systems. I have been, I have yet to find any time an S-400 has been pushed that hard in combat. In, in testing, yes, absolutely, but people fluff their testing numbers for all kinds of reasons, especially communism. I got it. I got it. He's elected president. He's not communist. They're, they're communism with extra steps. I'm aware but uh, yeah, Eli Double Tap would be perfect for a Hummer. Eli does a great um, um, China. The great China. He does great. Get AK Jesus to voice a character? Bet. Bet. I will ask him. I will ask him. And he's a, he's a, we're not close, but we, we do know each other. So let me see here. Uh, you think the uh, Amish will live like we do now in 200 years when we cheat clap aliens around the guys? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck asks a question like that i just i just sat down we are we are 19 minutes in skinny thor holy shit um <laughs> maybe i i don't know i i don't know if it's like a, a they're stuck 200 years ago or if they're just stuck in that time period but like me personally as a human uh again i don't try and judge anyone for the lifestyle but they don't have fucking youtube so they're not going to see this shit um I personally, I can't think of a time that just like, this This is good. This is good enough technology. We don't need to change anything. We don't need to innovate. We don't need to, to go forward. This is good. We're perfect right here. Everyone stop inventing. I, I, I don't understand that com complex or the, the, the mentality there. Hello from little European Texas. Hell yeah, Hubert. I got to find a reason to use that statement again. I used it like twice. I need a reason to use that. But hello from Poland. How you guys doing? Hope everything's well over there. You'll be the next Ginsu model when HLC sends that knife missile. So like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Nemo. Thanks. I appreciate it, Nemo. Nemo, y'all build me up. Discord link. So, oh shit, that reminds me, Wolfram. My Discord link in my uh, in my beacons is non-functional. I have to fix that. I am so sorry, guys. It's I'll fix it right after stream. Mrs. Linecrosser, remind me to fix my Discord link in my beacons. It does not work. I tried it myself and it did not work. You have a public question. Friendly fire games? I am here for it. I'll try and answer it the best I can. Ryan McGriff, tell the combat vets who watch you to get their hormones checked. Studies coming out show combat vets suffer from essential hormone depletion. Is that a real thing? I would, yeah. Bro, go get yourself checked. Go get yourself checked. Absolutely. Uh, Scott D, the KC-10 is based off the DC-10 airliner. They're running out of Patriot. Yeah, the, the missiles aren't infinite. Um, and one person has a lot more to throw. And this is the thing, the way U.S. employs Patriot is we have enough there to deal with what you can throw, right? That's, that's how much we put there, which sounds, which sounds simple, right? But what you can throw will change based off of how long we're in that fight. We take out what you can throw, and then we throw what you can't handle. Like, that's, that's how it works. Would you intercept me? Daddy Rob! I'd intercept me. $50 from Rob Castle. The Air Force General was interviewed on NBC again. In passing, he did say again the F-22 will not be retired. Where can I ask you a private question? 
It's about recent events. Ah, uh, sh- sh- oh, those recent events. I think I know what you're going to ask, and I, I couldn't even tell you if I wanted to, Rob. Um, Rob, do me a favor. Get in. Uh, get in the Discord. Shoot me a DM. Let me know it's you. Because I get a lot of DMs and I just don't go through all of them. But if I go through a couple and it says, hey, this is this is Rob, shoot me a DM. I will, I will answer as best I can, okay? All right, I need to get back to this. Yes, go get your hormones checked, combat vets. Go get them checked. Uh, is Ohio going to make another appearance in your future videos? Ohio and Florida together would be awesome. I do. I do want to get more Ohio. I, I want to bring in more states in general. It's just, it's hard to break down the accents in the in the, in the, I guess, isms of every single state. It's hard to stay on top of that. So we'll give it a shot. You've seen both planes. S-400 is a good missile, but the tracking radar is shit. I believe it. I mean, the missile has a decent range on it. I, for one, personally, don't like cold gas generators. I don't. I've never been a fan of cold gas generators. Just just not my thing. And, and here's why. It's another component that could go out. You guys ever see the missile that came out and then it didn't fire and it came right back down? That's a cold gas generator that was, I think, an S-400, maybe an S-500 in testing. It was Russia. And a lot of, a lot of people laugh at that. And I'm like, that, that can happen to anybody's missile. That can absolutely happen to anybody's missile. But a cold gas generator launches it out and then the the actual motor is supposed to ignite and then go. Meanwhile, like Patriot, there's no cold gas generator. It's an it's immediate ignite and go, ignite and go. So we have one less component that can go out. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if having a cold gas generator actually increases the capability for those missiles or if it's just a preferential choice. I don't know. I know the backblast is semi-reduced, but I don't know by how much. Uh, so I, I hope that helps. Want to hear a hilarious joke? Absolutely. First time catching stream from the first half hour. Well, welcome spiker. All right. Uh, 80 air force structural maintenance tech here. Our oldest jet on my base was built in 69. After the engine swaps, they're far more reliable source. Trust me, bro. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? I, I, are you saying, like, you got the information from a trust me, bro, or you're just saying, like, hey, trust me? Um, you talking about the, the C-5s or something else? Air Force Structural Maintenance Tech here. I'm trying to stay on top of that. Little cabbages. Greetings from Canada, eh? Oh, I got to get more Canada in. Um, I'm trying to stay in this. Drunk and just got off a filled up HLC. Continue the shenanigans. Methy, I will absolutely... Continue the shenanigans as best I possibly can. Uh, that Air Force General was interviewed on NBC again. Yes, uh, Rob. Sorry, I wanted to. I'm working my way down to it. Sorry. Oh my God, there's more of them. There's a lot more of them. I, I'm I'm falling behind here, guys. Yes, Rob, shoot me a DM on Discord. I'll see what I can do for you, man. Um, bit late. Random hypothetical. If you had God powers, honestly, how long before you became drunk on power? I give myself three weeks. Well, I guess that would be a definition of drunk on power. Cause like I would never use it to, to make the world do what I want it to do, but I would use it to like, man, I wish I had some, some popcorn. Boom. And I got popcorn. Like I would abuse the shit out of that. But like other people, I don't really care what people do. I don't except for driving. I, if I'm driving and I have God powers, I give myself all of 15 seconds to abuse them. Maybe less. Because I will clear the roads. Just everyone, I'm using my God powers, everyone goes home. Everybody goes home. No one on the roads. Nobody there anymore. Everyone goes home. Because I want to be able to drive somewhere. Watch Battleship New Jersey heading to Dry Dock the other day. You think you should give a quick episode about leveling the island? I do. And I will. Maybe. I I, I need to bring in some more history videos. And maybe I'll, I'll do an extra playlist. So I'll have like my green screen videos. And then I'll like do green screen history. And maybe that might be a way I can differentiate a little bit. I'm now in the Discord. Sea salt will be shared. <laughs> Wanted to cite my source about the, the gripen. I got to say it right, gripen. I've called it gripen for like ever because G-R-I-P. That's, well, G-R-I-P-E is gripe. So put an in on the end, gripen. I don't know. Uh, right on the Swedish state radio side, P.S. What are your thoughts on the CV-90? I'm not familiar with the CV-90. I'll be totally honest with you. Let me see. CV-90. 
Mrs. Lion Crossers. Nope, she's not texting me. Oh, is that the... Hmm. Looks like a Booker and a Bradley had a baby. Hmm. It's kind of cool. I'd have to learn something about it. Yeah, if you guys are not... I just looked up what a CV-90 is, and it, it looks like the M10 Booker and the M2 Bradley. When two pieces of armor love each other very much... I don't, I don't know why I did that hand motion. That, uh, that is not how reproduction uh, is done. We're going to move on from that. Uh, sorry. The missile has no idea where it is, where it's at. Warsuit, I assure you the missile knows where it is. Because the missile knows exactly where it isn't. Because the radar tells the missile where it isn't. So, of course, from deducing where the radar tells it it isn't, the missile can, of course, tell exactly where it is. This has been... I, I freaked out a bunch of um, war dogs. What is going on? Thank you so much for the donation. I freaked out a bunch of field artillery guys today. Um, I walked into their classroom. Their instructor had stepped out, and he's a good friend of mine. And he walked in. Or I, I walked in, and I just started like using as many air defense terms as I possibly could. And uh, I just walked in, and I was like, "All right, so the uh, kinematic flight profile of the Shahab three, based off of the lob trajectory, have, has the reduction in radar cross section but during the separation and in the mid course. Uh, now, when you ca you calculate possible last la uh, excessive lateral acceleration and ducting affecting these potential radar beams, which are gonna, and I just, I mean, I'm honestly that really doesn't mean fucking anything what I just said there. But all the all the FA guys were like, "What? What? Like?" <laughs> and I'm, I was like, "Guys, don't freak out. I guarantee all of you can do that to me." Because I don't know anything about your job. So, but it was kind of fun today. I saw the best meme about the buff. It showed the buff and then it showed the Death Star under it and said buff after 2000. Somebody sent me, I think it's in the Discord, there was a meme. Someone built a model of the buff. And you know the back of uh, the Starship Enterprise, how they have, like, the engines come up and then they have the two big, like, fucking, whatever they're called, engines? They had those on buff's uh, fuselage. Like, sticking out above the wings and I thought that was hilarious. Somebody sent that to me. HLC Wiccan, Nike Hercules. Oh, no shit. Yeah, I just saw um, some Hercules at the museum. It hurt itself in its confusion. Theoretical question. Should a future space military focus on small individual fighter craft and motherships like carriers or middle-sized attack aircraft? Honestly, I would say mid-sized attack aircraft with large caliber guns, and here's why. Um, everything in space is moving. All of it's moving. So if you fire a gun, that projectile is going to continue its speed, direction, heading, everything, until it either is affected by a gravitational pull or it hits something. So if you had a large number of, let's say, space battleships, and since everything is moving, you know that this enemy planet is going to rotate and show you where their capital is. And it's going to be right here at this time. Somebody who's much better at math. You're going to aim and fire at this second. So that way their planet will literally move in the way of your rounds. And you are, at that point, so far away, they're going to be none the wiser. And you've successfully hit them from a large distance out. At least that would be my logic. Hey, did you ever get a call back for being the triangle player in Usher's? Yes, I wish, man. That would have been, I would have loved to be a part of that Super Bowl. Just, just for, I would have, I would have stole the show from Taylor Swift. Remember that. T Swifties, Swifties, you fans. I would have stole the show had they put me in there with a triangle and Usher and Ludacris. We'd have had it. That'd have been it. Now there are way more vanilla states than Ohio. People are talking about there's max range and there's probability of kill range. One is more important than the other. Big facts. You're Canadian. You're Canadians in it. Oh, it. Canadian is in? Canadians in? Your Canadian accent is spot on, eh? I try to be right there. Those hosers, they were giving me a lot of hard time there. And uh, so what I did is I called them up and I said, hey, you guys, uh, there's there's a few isms and stuff like that that I don't really know. and I'm not, I'm not too good at there. But, uh, you know, they got the, there's a lot of isms that I don't understand from Canada. And uh, so I try to do the best I can, but I appreciate you there, you dark, the dark Canuck. Sending shot over the interwebs. 
I uh, cannot drink right now. Hypersonics, warp engines, hypersonic. What about hypersonics? So there's not, no one has a hypersonic. Evolution of air defense long form would be cool. I actually really like that. Um, I'm going to add that to the list. Evolution of air defense. I would, I would give it a shot. Damn it, YouTube won't let me send any more money. Your thoughts on replacing all sidearms and the U.S. Armed Forces? I, I agree with it. We we need to continue to innovate. Um, had F-15s playing chicken over my head today. Fun to watch. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Smash that like. Did y'all hear about the Moscow Moscow shooting? I did. I did hear about the Moscow shooting. I don't know enough details. Um, we'll see. Uh, Texas is going absolutely nuts due to his border. Yeah, the, the border situation in Texas is, uh, I, again, I haven't had a whole lot of time. Daddy Rob has a question. Hold on. Where's daddy? I saw it. Was it, was that daddy Rob? Next question. New topic. No shit. Did they actually confirm it? Hold on. You guys see this? Did you hear it's been confirmed that the manhole cover from the atomic gun is in space? They confirmed it's in space? What? I'm writing that down. Manhole. So for those of you who don't know, what they did, what the U.S. did a long, long time ago, I have no idea how long ago it is. Um, they They had a nuclear weapon underground and the only place to release that relieve that pressure was a manhole cover because they wanted to see and yeah, let's see what it, let's see what happens they had a high-speed camera on it it's like fifteen thousand frames a second or some stupid shit right it's some some crazy amount and when they blew up that atomic weapon you saw the the manhole cover for a second or excuse me for one frame one frame out of all those things, just that's it. Just you see, just it's there and it's boop and then it's gone. So I don't know how, but if they confirmed it was in outer space, that is amazing. I would love to see an HLC fat electrician collab. I've done one of those before when we talked about the uh, the whiskey, the um, mm, the Wisconsin. Have I seen Starship Troopers friendly fire games? Absolutely. Great, great movie. First one. Great. Second one. Mm -mm. Third one. Awful. First one, though. That, the first one. Patriot with photon torpedoes win. We're always innovating, man. I, I don't know if you all know this, but a third, a third of the Army's entire budget, which the Army's budget is, is some ridiculous number, like, I don't know, like $100 billion a year. Some, some ridiculous number. But a third of that is just my job. Another good portion of it is Army Aviation. And then it gets sprinkled in with all the other people. But yeah, almost a third of that is mine. Well, not mine. I, don't fucking, I struggle to get paper. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Did I miss one? James, thank you so much for the donation, my dude. I'm trying to stay on top of all these. I have hypersonics. Nemo, I don't think you do. Hypersonic failures. <laughs> you need your professor sweater? Oh, I just put it away. I'm not going to dig it out of the closet, but I have one. I have one. P3 Orion is the best aircraft. I I don't... So the P classes, I've never looked into. I know there's a P3, a P8, and they're, they're like sub-hunters, at least from what I understand about them. I'm not super familiar. Uh, I got to really... I, I got to dig into it. Uh, I'm not sure the primary source, source, though. I don't speak French, David. Or Nemo, do you speak French? Someone speak French? I think that's French. See, s'il vous plaît. That's, I see, s'il vous plaît. That's French. I know that. Uh, random question. What genre of music is your favorite? I'm a metalhead. I'm an absolute metalhead. And, and here's the thing. Okay, hold on. You can like mainstream metal and still be a metalhead. You can. You can like only like grunge metal and still be a metalhead you can like death metal and still be a metalhead for some reason there's like a division in the metalhead community and it happens with no other genre people are like i like country 
cool, you like country. I like I like rap. Oh yeah, cool, you like rap. But like metalheads, they're immediately like, what kind of metal? What's what bands? And if you say like a mainstream band, you can be like uh, fucking arch enemy. They're like, oh, fuck it. Have you heard? Have you heard of? Have you heard of Slitty Wrist Mc Mc Explody? You're like what? And they just. I, there's a weird division in the metalhead community, but I'm a metalhead. Flares chat for Jesus, nothing can see. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, the TNG has guns that, if they got bum rushed. TNG. What do you think about the U.S. Air Force successfully testing the AGM 130A in the Pacific? Ah, or 183A. I'm excited for it. Um, but it also means that sooner or later, somebody is uh, is going to. Um, steal it so here, here's the thing okay almost lost my cool there yes yes andrew so um p51 or p38 p51 all day the mustang is a fucking champ i love it love it love everything about it um so uh the agm 130 or 183a is a hypersonic cruise missile and cruise missile is kind of a arbitrary thing so cruise missile by definition has lateral surfaces which produce lift and it flies a flat trajectory not a parabolic trajectory not an arced or lob trajectory it flies flat that is the definition of a cruise missile that's the thing well cruise missiles aren't hypersonic 99.9999 actually 100 percent of the time until this thing existed you're absolutely correct the average speed of a cruise missile is around 500 miles an hour and then they can go up to like mach 1 or mach 2 usually as they're going in for their final uh, attack which is what happens with the american tomahawk missile um same thing with like a caliber cruise missile etc 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 the reason they were so dangerous is because the curvature of the earth if you think the earth is flat i'm sorry you um, probably should go back to school it's not um, and i work for the government trust me it's fucking not um anyways and radars, so curvature of the earth, radar look this way. And when people are like, oh, I'm flying under radar. How are you flying under radar? Oftentimes this is mask, masked terrain, which is like buildings and mountains. You're flying behind that because the radar is like a big flashlight. And if you're in the shadows, we can't see you. Other times it's far enough away and low enough that it's actually on the far curvature of the earth. And you're like, well, I mean, the curvature of the earth, you can't really see it. Yeah, but the radar can. And um, curvature of the earth, the horizon is about 20 miles out. And... That sounds like a lot. And in the world of air defense, it's just not. You're traveling at 500 miles an hour. 20 miles is a pretty short amount of time before you get engaged. And, okay, my, my watch just went off. But anyways, um, so anyways, hypersonic by definition is anything that travels over one mile per second or 1.6 kilometers per second or around Mach 5. I don't like using Mach because Mach is a... Mach is supposed to be based off of a constant, right? So like X amount of miles per hour is how fast uh, sound travels at sea level, which should be a Mach, right? But sound travels at different speeds depending on what elevation you are. So it's, mm, but they do try and base it off of a constant, which is at sea level. Uh, so I, I use those other metrics. But anyways, traveling at those speeds is really hard because number one, you're fighting the shit out of physics. I mean, can you imagine, let's say you're doing 50 miles an hour and you want to dive into water. It's gonna be like hitting concrete. Same thing happens when you leave the atmosphere and come back in, which is why ballistic missiles slow down on re-entry. Uh, so maintaining that for the entire time, really hard to do. Uh, it also makes the object really fucking hot, like incredibly hot. So, and that's only, that's a finite resource until you eventually start cooking that object. So just keep those things in mind. You got a lot of physics against you. So the fact that they got the AGM 183 to function is pretty impressive. Uh, so I'd like to know more about it, but I know we're not going to, not going to see anything for a little while. All right. Sorry. I went, my missiletism took over guys. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, so we have, uh, rampant fury says ISIS claim responsibility for the Moscow attack, but I'm sure they'll still blame Ukraine. I don't, again, I, um, so I said it at the beginning and I'll say it again. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you're from. And active terrorism is still an act of terrorism. And it's an awful thing because innocent people aren't there hurting other people. It's governments. Um, while I disagree adamantly as a person, as an individual, adamantly with the decisions that Russia has made, a bunch of people getting gunned down in a stadium is not the answer. Uh, and as an American who's seen plenty of gun violence, I'm not saying which side of the, the spectrum I'm on there, you know, a lot of gun violence. And, um, but... 
I think we all know how how painful this can be. So it, it sucks to see it happen somewhere else. And, and regardless of what government they're represented by, these are these are humans that are losing their lives. So it, it is pretty shit either way. Um, all right. I'm, I'm trying to catch up. Someone already asked me in the Discord, hey, whenever you want to learn about the P3, P8 and stuff, let me know. I think it was weapons because he, <laughs> he I, I drive that man nuts. Do I like Sabaton? Dark Dragon Guardian, I love Sabaton. I love Sabaton. I would love for them to talk about some of the things we've done over 20 years ago now because they don't touch anything within the last 20 years. I would love for that to happen. Metal, a variety of metal music with an affinity for Viking metal. There's so many types of metal out there now. I listen to Viking metal. I listen to power metal. I listen to pirate metal. I listen to opera metal. And I listen to, I found a new one, Samoan metal. Unfortunately, I don't speak Samoan. Um, I think that's the language it's called. I don't speak it, but it goes hard as fuck. So I've been digging it. There's a one called uh, Lemanu is the name of the song. I don't know what it means. I know I never looked up like what Lemanu means, but it's, it goes hard as shit. It's really cool. I've never like, I want to listen to this metal in a different language. It's cool as shit. Do I listen to baby metal? Yes, I do. Um, I don't listen to all their stuff. I have a couple of their songs. Thanks for still using that ACJ or AC130J pick I gave you. Nat, Nat Fog. You're welcome. Because I was actually going through picking the green screen that I was going to use. And I remember I picked the old one and I stopped and I was like, no, I got sent that new one of the actual AC-130J. So I want to be accurate. So then I went through and I found it again. I was like, that's the one I need to use. So I thought about you when I made it, man. Take a listen to Microgravity's Outer Heaven album and you get a chance. Microgravity's Outer Heaven. I like covers, and that that may be strange, but I like I like songs that I enjoyed as a as a kid, just different ways, and I love those. Would you rather be a fantasy wizard or a sci fi war setting? Wait, would you rather be a fantasy wizard in a sci fi war setting or a sci fi super soldier in a fantasy war setting? Mm. Mm, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes, guys. Now we're getting the meat and potatoes. These are the questions. This. Mm, that's a damn good question. That's. Oh, Electric Cowboy, Squishy Bug. I've heard them. I've, I've watched them before. But now, now this is this is driving me nuts, man. Key Largo, Florida. Metalhead here. Hey, October. Thank you so much. Hmm. I'm going to say sci-fi super soldier in a fantasy war setting. Because it seems like fantasy war, like... You can eventually get both sides to talk to each other. And sci-fi war is like just complete extermination of one another. Like, I don't know if that goes that way to you guys. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm I'm going to say. Super soldier in a fantasy war setting. Final answer. Sonic Boom, Mach 5. Yep, Mach 5. Uh, I am using that die. Was it die Lieber worst? I please. Can I use that dude? Hot single missiles near you. I hold on. I got to write that down. I really am going to use that. That is a, there's, I can use that. That is phenomenal. You love the F 22, my videos. <sighs> Ghostly wishes. The F 22 loves you. There we go. I got you covered. I had to hear myself. So. Yeah. Thank you. Permission granted. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see. I got to. Hold on. I gotta make sure I'm Hey HLC, the budget for the US Army in 2023 is 366 billion. Okay, so a little more than I thought, but yeah, a third of that belongs to air defense artillery. Uh okay, let me see. In regards to that, you should only check the band Machina. Machina? They have wrote an entire epic sci-fi story only in music with an awesome soundscape. Mm. Machina. Y'all give me a lot of notes today. Friendly Fire Games, yes, 767 point whatever miles per hour. Yes, that's 
Again, it's based off of a constant, which is the speed of sound at sea level. I don't know. I don't. I just don't like using mocks. It's like, it's like when I use kilofeet, and it and it gives fucking strokes to people who use the metric system. They're like, what the fuck is a kilofeet? It's, it's a thousand feet. I love using kilofeet. It's not a measurement anywhere else except for in the Patriot system, but I love using it. Oh man, doggo cam. So Casey, the doggo cam, the dogs are downstairs with some family right now. Uh, so they, they won't be on with us tonight. They're just hanging out. Japanese metal. Yeah, baby metal. I listen to that. Sorry. Uh, alien weaponry, Maori metal. Is that... Do I like Rammstein? Some, yes. Do I listen to Lamb of God? Yes. The Who? Some of their songs? Uh, how's the kid doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. <sighs> I was busy building a mousetrap. I just leave crumbs on the ground and then suck them up in my engines when they get close. <laughs> Sorry. Long vid on Griff Griffith's base was built in 37 to fix buff. Griffith's base. I need some more long form content, guys. I've just been so busy. Griffith's base. Yeah, Mongolian metal band called The Who? Absolutely. I've listened to them. My, my uh, father in law listens to them too. Do I know about the M1 Cat TB? No, Cat, Cat B? I have not. Yes, you caught a live stream M4A2. You're dead. You like Leo from Frog Leap Studios? Absolutely. I love that. You see the clip of the Russians in an S-400 getting hit from Ukraine? Which time? Because I've seen several of those. Um, and I try and confirm them as much as I possibly can. Man of War, I like that band too. Any chance you get to break out the lightsaber? You mean that one? The one I got mounted there? Don't you worry. That thing, look, YouTube has a pretty strict policy about playing with weapons while you're live streaming. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want that thing to take off an arm. Old Sage System. Sage? I don't think I've heard of Sage. You know, when I made that video about the, uh, the, the Chaparral, so I went to the Air Defense Artillery Museum recently, and I was like, I was talking to the guy, and I was like, yeah, you know, I, I did a video about the Chaparral, and they were talking about the Mauler, and I've never even seen one of those. He's like, we got one over there, and I got to see a Mauler, which is kind of cool, because uh, I'm a nerd. Sabaton is great for metalheads who are also history nerds. Night Witches is jam. Bro, Night Witches, uh, 82nd all the way. Um, let me see. Um, Devil Dogs is another good one. Uh, and then you got, uh, yes, obviously I like the American ones, but Night Witches is not American, it's Russian. And then there's one more. Um, White Death, I was listening to that today. Uh, the Great War. Uh, oh, uh, Far From Fame, that's another good one. Yeah. Area 51 is a character? It's actually not a half bad idea. Thought OM, the S-400 video out of Ukraine getting hit by high Mars while the crew is celebrating? I haven't seen that one. I may have to check that one out. Doggo, yeah, I'm sorry, we already got to that. What's up, Fundam BB? No, give me the doge, the doge. They're chilling. Uh, so we're... We're just chilling. My family was hired to drill the wells for that base. For, uh, I got it where I wrote it down. Griff's base? Griffith's base? Have I heard of Battle Beast? Yes! They have a good song called uh, Let It Roar, I think is what it's called. Good song. Bro, the T90 current about to take off. Really? Metallica rules. I do like Metallica. So I, I got the sage written down, Wraith. I'm going to look into it. Me and Fundam BB need to do a collab, bro. Time. Time is the one thing I don't have very much of. And the winged... I don't, I don't know how to say that word. Husser, I know they're they're Polish. I'm tracking that. The winged hussars. Hussars? I don't know how to say that word. I'm... Look. I know my mother is watching this right now. And I'm sorry. I am... Um, I'm hooked on phonics. That's... Uh, I had a shirt for a while that I thought said Dyslexics Unite and it had a guy with his fist up. But it was a joke shirt that said Dyslexics Untie, like a dyslexic would write it. And I wore that shirt for six months.
That's... I just want you all to know, you enjoy the videos of somebody who has successfully monetized multiple personality disorder. That's, that's where we're at. That's a great video that, or a great um, question that I can answer. Kraft Voorhees, Vor I don't know how to say that. Your opinion on the Coyote missiles versus the Stinger. So, it's very hard to compare missile systems because they each have their own capability gap. Now, the Coyote isn't inherently a missile system. For those of you unfamiliar with what the Coyote is, the Coyote is a drone hunting drone. It looks like a missile pod. They fire a drone. The only reason I know this is because like, I have to teach this. So they fire a drone. That drone goes and hunts down another drone and boom, blasts through it. But they actually have a newer version that, uh, that hits it with an EMP pulse and then comes back and lands, which is super cool. Um, electromagnetic pulse pulse. Yeah, I just said that, EMP pulse. Um, anyways, uh, but the coyote, at least as far as I know, is incapable of chasing down aircraft, which is why the Stinger is so good. Because the Stinger, I mean, it travels in Mach 2.2. So there's very few things out there, unless you're talking like high-end aircraft, that are going to be able to outrun something like that. Um, the drawback of the Stinger is that it's a heat seeker. But it's a lightweight mobile platform, so a heat seeker kind of works. Um, if you try to have a radar guided, you'd have to have it on a truck. Please do a video on the second AN-225 that's going to be finished. They're going to build another, a new one? No shit. What's the point of the treaty if no one follows an example of a nuclear bomber between Russia and the U.S.? The public reveal. Russia hasn't followed it since 2016. So, you're right. Treaties are based off of the fact that both sides are going to follow the rules. And both sides are going to, you know, put their best foot forward. Now, the problem we have is that we have governments that do not trust each other. And rightly so. Um, last time we trusted the Russians, didn't go well for a lot of people. Um, so, we do treaties because we want things to, to work right. But keep in mind, those treaties are often signed by people who have an agreement. And every couple years, we get a new president in the United States. And sometimes these presidents sign treaties, and then their, their follow-on is like, that's a dumb treaty. That guy was dumb. I don't like that guy. We're going to do our own thing. So then the other guy goes, we're going to do our own thing. Or they swap out, and they're like, that old guy was stupid. I'm not going to do that. We're going to do our own thing. For example, like the Treaty of Versailles. As soon as Adolf Hitler took power, he was just like, fuck that. You guys were crippling us. We couldn't afford anything. We were starving here. Fuck it. I'm going to build as much as I want to. And everyone was like, well, we don't want to get into another war. So we're just going to ignore that. And then they, then they fucking annexed uh, Austria. They were like, ah, oh, we really don't want any more of this to do. And then they annexed, they didn't annex Belgium. Uh, then they invaded fucking Poland. And that's when the UK was like, ah, you know, oi, oi, mate, you need to stop that shit. Uh, that was kind of Australian. Fuck it. Sorry. And, and then France was like, uh, um, uh, oh no, we must do something. Uh, sorry. My French is really hard to do. I'm fucking terrible at it. And, uh, and then they, they fucking steamrolled France, uh, which is really weird because France had arguably the strongest military in Europe at that point in time. And they were steamrolled by a much lesser force, but obviously Lightning War, Blitzkrieg, shit like that. You know, tactics play a huge role. And yeah, anyways, sorry. Um, <laughs> I just went off on a, on a tangent about, yeah, because I'm that guy. Hussars. Okay, that's how you say it. Sorry, I'm trying to sabotage a kick-ass band. I totally agree. Totally agree. Want to apologize for being drunk in VC on Discord a couple of Fridays ago. <laughs> Never the impression I wanted to make. It was awesome meeting you, though. You, thwack, don't worry about it, man. Like, if I'm hopping in general chat, it's just because, like, hey, fucking talk to me. If you guys are in my Discord and I'm in general chat, hop in. If I get tired of your shit, I'm a, I'm a realistic person. I'll be like, ah, yeah, no, I'm not really feeling this. Or I'll just stop talking to you and then I'll just leave the chat. Which is okay. Because I want you to be able to be who you are, and I'm going to be who I am. And I don't want to, like, this is the thing. I have a terrible memory, and I, I can't even remember who said it, but they're like, if you never lie, you never have to remember anything. And that's wonderful. That's that's phenomenal. That's a great saying. I literally just don't have to remember anything if I don't lie. Stanley R. Mickelson, Safeguard Complex. Hold on. Let me look that one up. Let me see if that one's even worth making a video about. Let me, let me double check. Huh.
I did not know this actually existed. Let me screenshot that. It's the first ever ballistic missile defense that the uh, U.S. designed. I didn't know that. That's actually kind of cool. I should know that as an air defender. Brandon Herrera won't do it, but you're the one, the one daddy who can make me so happy if you could get me a stinger missile for my birthday. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Kate, I don't, I don't know if I could uh, pull that one. I don't know if I could swing that. Pour one out for the A-10. It's the last year of doing air shows. From, from the Navy, I tip my TR too. The A-10, it's, this is the thing. We, we never, we never get rid of something unless we're building something better. You got to understand it, it. We just, so what, what have they come up with or are they in development or are they using, like, what is that? What does that look like? I have no idea what that looks like, but we don't ever, like, we almost never just, that should go away. No, we just, like, we, it gets out designed. We just build something, we're like, well, now this old one's pointless. Let's just get rid of the old one, we'll just keep the new one. Cool. And then we ain't got to build old parts and spend extra money on old parts. We can just get new parts. Cool. So I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what's coming next. I don't know what is going to be replacing that, but close air support aircraft are going to be hugely vital. Now, as far as I'm aware, we've now gotten rid of Kiowas, and now we're possibly talking about you know getting rid of A-10s. So my brain, when I think of close air support aircraft, is Apaches, F-15s. I don't know if an F-16 has a... Yeah, it does. It does have you know AGM capabilities and can do strafing runs, I suppose uh f-18s um but we really lost i mean okay and obviously ac-130 um but ac-130s are kind of few and far between and you got to really be an important asset to get your hands on one of those so i don't know we really want to see roast rusher for having a cruise missile shot down by an m2 browning also for hitting their own fishing vessel into <laughs> ship missile messing up i did not know about that but they actually i mean i wouldn't be surprised shooting down a cruise missile with a with a 50 cal I wouldn't be surprised. The range on an M2 heavy barrel 50 caliber machine gun's like, I'll say like 2,200 meters or something like that. So like two kilometers. France was outmaneuvered in World War II. Totally agree. Totally agree. 100% agree. Fat Electrician did a fantastic video about tank warfare and how the Germans pulled off steamrolling France. I believe he did. Can I do the grandpa buff voice? Yes. One of the most natural voices that I have. It just pops out. It just, I mean, honestly, it's so easy to do and so easy to use. Plo posted a video on War Talk. Check it. It's gold. I, I will have to check it after this. Losing the A-10 will be very sad, but I had a good run. I mean, it's been a great aircraft. It's been a great aircraft. Yes, I mean, from the Brits that I've talked to, they don't like it because it has had some blue-on-blue -blue incidents. But I challenge you to find any close air support system or close support system that hasn't had a blue on blue incident. And I'm not trying to make excuses, but like mortars have had blue on blue incidents. Artillery has had blue on blue. Apaches have had blue on blue. Fucking F-15s have had blue on blue. Um, Kiowa's had blue on blue. So I believe in AH-1Z, the, uh, the Cobras have also had blue on blue. So keep that in mind. What cast could ever be better than an A-10? I don't know. Opinion on the Taz. Know someone who knew that system immediately and he said it's superior to the HIMARS, the Taz. Let me check. Because I work... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tank chassis, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Okay, so the Taz, from what I see, has some things that are superior. Uh, one of the things I would see is it's better armored than a HIMARS. Sorry, HIMARS, guys. That's the truth. Uh, number two is that it carries more rockets than a HIMARS. 
which is true. Um, downside, it's less maneuverable, it doesn't reload as fast, and it cannot reach as far as a high Mars. Um, so kind of take it as you want. Uh, is range more important to you? Is payload more important to you? Is armor more important to you? Or is mobility more important to you? So saying something is better, there's a lot that goes into it. So I want people to understand that. Okay, uh, make sure. Okay, got that one. So HLC, I know you're near Defender, but what do you think about the USS Long Beach? Have I ever seen an uglier piece of American equipment? Now I got to go look this up. CLG N160. I don't want to be looking up things on my phone all night. <laughs> the fuck is that thing? Hold on. I'm going to pull this up on the fucking... On, uh, on my screen. Hold on. I got to pull this up so you guys can see it. Cause I want I'm gonna I'm gonna roast it. I'm just gonna roast it, okay, Joe? That's that's happening. Let me switch over to that. Okay. I'm gonna roast this motherfucker. Alright, now you see it. That's what it looks like. Okay. $10 it looks like an Aegis that just spent too much time on radar and comes out when no one else wants it around and just says, hey, you guys. It looks like it was designed specifically to capsize. It looks like fucking someone decided to put a radar on top of the USS Stingray, that goddamn fucking submarine from, uh, uh, was it down Periscope? That thing looks like to operate it, you had to be fired from every command you've ever been a part of. Uh, I think the best thing we could possibly do is donate that to other people so that we can laugh at their Navy. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, that's just <laughs> top top of the brain for everybody. There, there, there you go. The USS Long Beach. That's uh, what we're, we're talking about. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nothing can beat the bird from a Brit. HLC, first live stream I've been able to attend. First one of my buddies just enlisted to go to air defense. He heard the call. Second, can't wait till the next unsub episode with you. Thank you so much, the Anon. Uh, I'm glad your buddy went air defense. Do you know what MOS he picked? Um, did, like, was it Army Air Defense or was it Marine Corps Air Defense? And it should be either 14 Echo, 14 Golf, 14 Papa, 14 Hotel, 14 Tango. I think that's everything. I think it's all of us. Um, so let me know what 14 series he is. The F-117 is back? <laughs> Morgan, I'm going to tell you. No one. Uh, it never left. It was for a short period of time. It was operated by certain three-letter agencies. Because the government was like, we need to get rid of this thing. Um, it was successfully shot down. And then they're like, well, how did it get shot down? Well, pure luck. And we flew in the same flight path for like months on end. And then we we're like, we need to get rid of it. We'll get something else. It's like one of the most stealth things we've ever created. But whatever, it's just too much. And then like the CIA was like, hold on. You say it's invisible? And we're like, yeah, yeah, it's invisible. Like it's just. I'm going to learn to fly it. Like that just happened. The on some episode with you was so fun. I know. I can't wait to be back down there, man. Electro electronic warfare ship the goonie <laughs> bro i'm telling you that is the uss long beach it's still here on my screen i really need to get it uh blue on blue is inevitable big facts joe grandpa buff hold on can i do the hummer voice again look at this i can only send 10 bucks at a time now i i do plan on doing the hummer voice um like are you talking about the one that i did last time the guys like i mean that was just kind of a whatever but i do plan on uh like actually having a full-on hover voice so don't worry looks like it fell asleep in the barber chair that's funny uh, you want sr71 videos the sr71 is cool but i feel like it's kind of overdone i do got some cool stories that i plan on telling on unsub next time i'm on there because i want to share them with you guys in that in that in that sense because uh i i really enjoy it Hape, help HLC, Nemo, you're reaching, man. Hey, help HLC's presidential campaign. Like, subscribe, share, and stab the notification bell with a carrot.
Where's that link, Wolfram? And then Wolfram, Jesus. Discord link for those who need it. Enter at your own risk. You have been warned. I love it. I love it. They're, I got the best mods in the world. <clears throat> you could uh, absolutely. Oh, <clears throat> my voice is a little burned out. Absolutely. Do a perfect uh, Kermit the Frog voice. I, I Maybe. I'd have to work on it. Looks top heavy. Absolutely. The eyes of Sauron. There's always the love boat. If I need a department of the boat people, I can make fun of it. The kid phrase has become the big in the star citizen PVP dog fighting community. Gets quoted every day. Seriously? That's, that makes me happy. Because I play star citizen. I am a... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I just found out that a, a member of my wife's family was on the USS Long Beach. And uh, they were watching. And uh, I just roasted the USS Long Beach. Hi. Um, but I, so this is the thing I play, I play like menial star citizen. Like I don't, I don't do PVP, like dog fighting, not my thing. I do like shipping, uh, hauling cargo. Uh, I do, um, scrapping and I do mining. Like that's what I enjoy. Uh, I'm so happy that it's got big. I'd love to see some of our own subs represent in one of your vids. I need to do sub voices. I got to find like a genre. Protocol 4 was the doggo camp. So the dogs are downstairs with some family right now. Um, so they're hanging out. C uh, CIA 117, their best drug smuggling aircraft ever. HLC for president. I am... Whew. No. No, no, no. I'm far too honest to be any kind of politician. Getting it done with a whole team of invisible warriors. 14 golf. Okay. So he's a golf. If you get a chance to fuck with him, give him special attention. He thinks he's invincible since he's Serb ancestry. Okay, we're going to find out. No, I mean, if he just enlisted, he'll be over in basic training or AIT land. So it's, uh, the subs are all Muppets. I could fuck with that. You're a truck driver in space. What up, Funda BB? Oh, I'm not hopping on Discord right now, man. No, I, I can't. Not in the middle of the stream. People say some off the wall shit. Any future plans of having the B2 spirit? I I got I want I want to make it a character, but I I don't know what voice to use. I I don't know what voice to use, and I really want to I want to make that character. Four more years. No, don't put that evil on me. Sean Connery voice. I can, but that might piss off the Scots. Northern English accent. Look, I struggle enough. I struggle enough just with the regular English voice. My, my Ewan McGregor. HLC Brandon Herrera 2028. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I am far too. Uh, far too honest to be a politician. James Bond accent. Well I mean like. James Bond. Like like are we talking Sean Connery James Bond? Are we talking. Uh, whew. Sorry guys. I have an idea. Do the kid in the driveway from The Incredibles for the B-21. <laughs> I don't know. Something amazing. If you try, the Scots are good. I will give it a shot. Oh, hang on. Waiting for the text to come through. Am I in trouble? Mrs. Line crossed her text pretty quickly. Oh, no. That's, that's yeah. Hmm. Uh, UK subs are based in Scotland. I did not know that. Make the B-2 speak in haikus. Then I'd have to write haikus. You made an AK guy for president video and started a thing. No, 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 no. Batman Christian Bale's voice for a sub? Like, like I'm Batman. Like, like that? You want like the actual Batman? Or do you want like me to try and emulate a Christian Bale voice, which would be really difficult? Not even a real English. I'm, tr I'm trying, Gil. You, you leave me alone. I'm not. I, I have spent like 19 hours in the United Kingdom. Seagal voice. Um, I'm just a cook. I don't. I. I. That's the only line I can think of because I watched Under Siege before. Um, 
A match on time for one. Could you check out Fort Hancock, New Jersey? Was New York City Harbor Defense and Civil War and Nike site? Which Nike? Because there's a lot of Nikes. You have the Nike Ajax. You have the Nike Sojak. You have the Nike Hercules. You have the Nike Zeus. And then you have the Nike, uh, missing one, Spartan. It's okay, though. The Zeus and the Spartan never went into full production. So, I knocked two of them out for you. Uh, Fort Hancock, New Jersey. Oh, that's Texas. Hmm. Oh, it's like an island. Or, well, a peninsula, at least. I didn't, I didn't look at the whole map. All right, hold on. You want honest politicians? I, mm, I don't know, man. Like, I, for me, I... I couldn't be bought. You want Batman? You want Batman for the F? Or the, the B2? I could do that. I could probably do that. What's my opinion on the situation in Russia? I don't know enough about it to form an opinion. I'm tracking it happen. Uh, I will tell you, uh, innocent people being unalived anywhere is is bad, uh, regardless of what their government may or may not have done. So, the subs can be beaker from the Muppets. Me, 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 me. Just do that shit. I've heard of the kid quotes during Friday Star Citizen fight nights and even during Atmo Esports. Uh, training, it was quoted. It's iconic now. I didn't know that, like, the, would you intercept me? I, I didn't no idea that it would become like that. Like, as far as I know, I created that. I Because I'd never heard it before, so I was like, I did this and it became a thing. And I have no idea how it became a thing, but it became a thing. Bruce Lee, can you check out Dover Air Force Base? What about Dover? Batman is more the F-117. I don't know. Maybe some Tommy Lee Jones. I cannot do Tommy Lee Jones voice. I've tried. <sighs> oh my God. I'm sorry I'm yawning, guys. I haven't got a lot of sleep this week. I've been pretty busy. Um, I want politicians to have their sponsor's name on their coats like NASCAR drivers. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Could do a shut-in hardcore nerd voice for the subs. Like an Urkel? I could I'm maybe do an Urkel. But I don't know if they would get that. Like, are sub guys nerdy? I know. I'll ask Dr. Kozak. Dr. Kozak is, is a former sub guy. And I'll be like, are you guys nerdy? He'll play like Magic the Gathering underneath the Polar Ice Cap or some shit. Like, what do y'all do? You read books? You, you, you play pranks on each other? Are you in there doing push-ups? Like, what happens in a submarine when you're down there that long? And what was I supposed to look up? I'm sorry. Dover Air Force Base. What about Dover? I mean, I've heard of Dover. I just, I don't know why. I'm so sorry I'm yawning, guys. I'm. We need an early. Er I have tried, James, the early Ermy voice. I have tried desperately because I really wanted that character. I actually wanted that character for the Shook. I'm totally honest with you. I got the cadence. I don't have the tone. I just, I cannot get it. So, like, I need to listen to him a lot more and just try and emulate his words and his, his mannerisms. If you and BH were to run a campaign, sign me up now. No bullshit. I'm down for any job. Nemo, we're going to have you monitor our chats when we go live. You're going to be just perpetual mod. No, it's okay. You see the F-22 quote all the time in random subs on Reddit? Use helium for the subs. You're an imposter, Tommy Nemo. Hold on, I know you, Wolfram. Would you intercept me? I oh, intercept me. Some guys are nerds who deny being nerds. I would 100% play Magic: The Gathering under the ice caps if I was a sub guy. Are they huge nerds? Okay. Mirage F1. I need to bring in the Mirage. It's a pretty well well used aircraft. So I really, I need to do more foreign aircraft. I've done some Russian aircraft. Maybe, I, I mean, I did the J-20 once, but I never actually gave it a voice. So. If magically there was a U.S. Army fort to be built in Middle Earth in the time of the Hobbit, what would you guys name it? Ooh. 
Now we're getting to the real questions. These are the important questions that the world needs to know. Um, oh, you know what? We always name them after like high ranking people. Um, I got it. Okay, so we changed the name of Fort Hood. Why did I just do? Why did I just do a former President Trumpism? I don't know why I did that. Um, so we named we changed Fort Hood to Fort Cavazos. Now, General Cavazos was very important. He was the first Hispanic general. Important, right? Of Hispanic descent. Important. But I think we really missed an opportunity and should have called it Fort Benavides. Now, well, who's Benavides? Uh, Master Sergeant Roy Benavides. Just Google that name. The man is a fucking unit. Like, the stuff that man went through is nuts. And we still get the, hey, Hispanic guy, uh, Medal of Honor recipient, uh, Special Forces, just, just a monster of a dude. But, like, super nice and polite. Um, I, tend, I tend to believe he's a better role model than Audie Murphy. And don't get me wrong, Audie Murphy's the most decorated soldier in American history. Cool. But Roy Benavides is just a better human all around. Uh, so anyways, Middle Earth, we probably name it Fort Sauron. Just, just knowing how the military is. Um, love all the content you do, man. A quick, you've quickly become my favorite one of my favorite creators on here. Thank you so much, Incense and Iron. Bro, I appreciate you being here. Ever play Warhammer? No, I would love to learn to play Warhammer. Like, I don't... The, the, the art style of Warhammer looks beautiful. Like, I see little clippets, you know, videos and stuff on, like, on, like, TikTok and shit. It looks beautiful. Like, I, I got the Ultimate Battle Simulator, and I pitted 100 Space Marines against a bunch of other people. And I was just having fun trying to see, like, how much firepower you needed to kill 100 Space Marines. Turns out, it's a lot. More than 500,000 T-Rexes. I'll just go ahead and throw that at you. Figured that out. But anyways, and, um, yeah, the art style looks cool as hell. I just don't know where to start. It's like someone saying, hey, I, I like Star Wars, but where do I start? Where do you start with Star Wars? Some people say four, five, six, and then one, two, three. But that's not the story. You need one, two, three, then four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, you can probably just chop those off. Those are garbage. We need to put in the Clone Wars. They're going to have to watch the Clone Wars. And then they're going to have to watch um, the Book of Boba Fett. I know some people don't like it. I actually think it was really good. The Mandalorian. And of course, they're going to have to watch um, Obi-Wan. I mean, those are kind of required. As for reading the books, I don't know. All right. Uh, hey, habitual line crosser. The only way the F-22 kid will get an intercept is if I'm behind the controls of him. Scott D, I fucking, the kid needs it. I really want to see, I, I have a feeling like, so I, a friend, a, a friend's son reached out to me and he works on the F-22s and he showed my videos to pilots and apparently they find them funny. So I would really like, if a pilot was on the internet and was doing reactions to my, my aircraft videos, I think that would be really cool. Like, I would enjoy watching that because that's something that they're a part of. Um, Grippin means Griffin. Said, like, Grippin. Sneggle, I'm not going to say the last of yours. You almost got me. You almost got me. Also, do I have any advice for a journeyman electrician looking to join the military? As far as branch, MOS, all that good stuff. Um... So I will tell you, uh, there's only two branches of the military. It's the Army and the Navy. The Marine Corps is a cult, and the Air Force is a corporation. Um, no, honestly, join join for something that you get out of it. This is Here's the thing. Uncle Sam, 100% of the time, will get what he wants. That's just the nature of the beast, right? Uncle Sam will always get his from you, from everybody else. So when you join, you need to go, what do I want? Because the only time you will have any negotiating room and be at that table for what you want is when you initially enlist and raise your right hand. That's it. So just keep that in mind. As soon as you're in, boom. You, they have complete control. Honestly, I think the only reason that Uncle Sam pays this is because indentured servitude is illegal. Um, any thoughts uh, of the Legion possibly going to Ukraine? I'm not familiar with what the Legion is. Wait, are you talking about the French Foreign Legion? Because I know France has been like, fuck you, we're going. Um, but I don't know. Anybody watching The Bad Batch? I watched the first season. I need to watch more of it. I need to. Do. 
four, five, six, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, and nine are not a thing. <laughs> Amen, Wolfram. Wolfram, the internet persona. Hold on, I'm trying to stay. The fat electrician line. What are you? What? F16 versus F15, the new one? Depends. If it's a BVR fight, I'm going to say F15. Because F15 EX is, just so you know, if you're like, well, what is, what's so special about the F15? They took, you ever watch like the, the, I think it's the Zoltan where he's like, Sony guts. They took F35 guts, stuck it in an F15. F35 has one of the most high powered, not the most high powered, but one of the most high powered and high fidelity and high functioning radars that have ever been on a combat aircraft. The one that has the most range is the F-14. The F-14, all those pilots probably have cancer. I'm just going to be honest with you. All those, they got like the super cancer. Um, but anyways, all those pilots got that shit. And um, so uh, they took that radar and the fire control computers and a lot of the other stuff. And they just shoved it in this F-8 or F-15 and they're like, cool, it's heavier. So now we need to give it better engines. And then they gave it more efficient, better engines. So like... I don't know why they even built it. Fuck it. We just needed to build it. So, um, yeah. The Air Force is a mafia. HLC, if you were president, who would you station at Fort Sauron? Oh, that's easy. Um, Marines, they thrive under hatred. I don't know what it is. Like, the more garbage and, like, pain you give to the Marine Corps, the more effective and efficient they are. I don't know how that works. Like, don't get me wrong. I've been in the shit myself. Like, no running water, no electricity. My bathroom was a hole in the ground. Like, we just kind of existed through it. But Marines are that weird demographic that, like, the worse you make it on... It's it's like a... It's like a weird... You know, the, you know I'm rubber, your glue, bounces off of me and sticks to you. Like, if you just live them in awful conditions, they just project their awful conditions on the enemy. It's a really... It's a weird thing that I don't know how, I don't know how that works. Um, so I'm gonna say Marine Corps, first off. Uh, secondly, um, any NCO who's ever used the word behoove, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put them there. Um, all majors, every major in the United States Army, they're gonna go there. So that way, we don't have to listen to the good idea fairies coming out of S3, okay? Um, let me see. Oh, all lieutenants from West Point. All lieutenants from West Point. Look, that's gonna that's gonna break you in, right? You're gonna you're gonna learn to deal with the suck, so that way when you come out of there, you're gonna be like, oh, this is so much better. I don't want to screw this up and make this dumb for everybody. So I think it's a good good learning opportunity. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I think that's it. Core feeds off of hate and caffeine. I believe it. F-14 pilots got the supersized Patriot curse. For those of you who are unaware, um, the Patriot curse is a... <sighs> the Patriot curse, if you get irradiated by a Patriot radar, which is C-band radiation, it's safe. But, I mean, any band of radiation, if you get too much of it, is bad, right? But there are some that are, like, more harmful, like alpha rays. Uh, well, alpha rays aren't really harmful. Alpha just kind of sticks to everything. So you don't want to, like, lick it. Um, but anyways, uh, and then gamma rays. Gamma, goo, gamma, too uber bad, right? Um, but C-band is, like, meh. I mean, it just makes your cells feel like they're dancing and you taste pennies. At least I did. Um, but anyways, the Patriot Curse is uh, you will have nothing but girls. And for some reason, it's really true. Like, every guy I've ever talked to who works around the radar, been irradiated, they had nothing but girls. Um, I even heard the thing from FA guys who work around the field artillery radars. They're like, yeah, we have nothing but girls, too, because we've all been irradiated. It's like, wow, that's nuts. Navy adds saline to all of our consumables. Why saline? I'm confused. I'm... Saline? Is that the right word? It would behoove you. No. Why are they making the F-15EX when you have the F-35 and the F-22? So the F-35 is the most widely produced and exported 5th gen aircraft in the world. 
Um, so we're trying to keep up everybody else's stuff. But the F-15 is a great, um, I guess, superstructure, like fuselage and, and, and body. Like it's it's got good bones. And it's really outliving itself. So it's actually cheaper to upgrade that than it is to either just keep it as is or design a whole new aircraft. The F-22 is incredibly expensive to operate um, because the parts are getting harder to get. Um, the parts are, so like this upgrades that we're going through is gonna be newer parts that are easier to manufacture and easier to get. Um, but F-22s are very expensive to run. So that could be why, because like an F-22 is, it's a, an important aircraft. So you don't want to send those unless you absolutely have to. Do I play COD? I used to. I don't really play it anymore. Sub guys tend to have girls. Really? I wonder if it's like too much nitrogen in the blood. You're a patriot and you have a son? What's your MOS, craft? Because I'm patriot, I'm an Echo. Are you a Tango? Tangos don't get irradiated. They just get barbecued if I don't pay attention to where they're at. Stuff happens. I don't have a window in the ECS. I have to believe you when your hot crew tells me where you guys are at. I can't see you. Plus, Raytheon, can we get like a one-way mirrored like glass, ballistic glass? I would just like to see nature when I'm stuck inside a steel box for like 20 hours a day. I would like to look out and be like, oh, there's a bird. Can't do anything about it. I'm still stuck in here. But there's a bird. I would really like to be able to do that, Raytheon, if you could just make that happen. True, my brother has three girls. Jeff, thank you so much for that donation, man. Hold on, I'm trying to see what he said. You're 14 Alpha? Hold on, hold on, Kraft. Hold on. I know for a fact that officer number one wasn't on radar crew drill. Number two sat inside the van and let everybody else clear that radar. Number three, ain't changed no damn filters in that radar. Number four, ain't never troubleshot that radar. Number five, ain't never been down range while that radar is radiating. Get out of here, sir. Respect. He's a 14 Alpha. You killing me. Craft. So 14 Alpha is, is an air defense officer for you guys. No, I'm just giving you shit. Your, uh, your uh, platoon star is taking care of you, right? I don't know if you're a lieutenant or a captain or something. Uh, your platoon star is taking care of you, right? Broke in, right? You don't got to do his job. He hasn't shown his incompetence. That's what I'm talking about. Bye, everyone. Take care. Scott D., thank you so much for being here. That bird is an FPV drone. <laughs> I should collab with Ward Carroll F-14 CAG. Um, I don't know who that is, but I will look him up. I'll add him to the list. Ward Carroll, right? Ward Carroll. I'll look into him. I am talking to an F-14 pilot right now who's a very specific F-14 pilot. I don't want to give uh, too many details, but um, since the SIR is in here, uh, 14 Alpha, um, that video I made about the Patriot Fratricide incident, I explained what happened, and I explained how our changes happened. Our changes are still valid, but I had a gentleman reach out to me, and he stated, hey, I saw your video. Uh, I'm a fan. Um, and he came at me like respectfully, which I, I appreciate, man. If you have a problem with me, just come at me respectfully and be like, hey, this is why I disagree with your opinion. I will always engage in debate with somebody. But if they're like, you're just trash. Like I had some dude who like got on my Facebook and when I posted the pictures of Hobbs, you know, and the little thing that I got from my wife, he was like, I'm glad your dog is dead. Like, what? I'm just going to block you, dude. Like that's not, you're not even worth my time. You're just a loser. You're going to be a loser. You're projecting your loserness on me. And I wish you the best in your future endeavors, but you're probably going to end up being a failure in life because you have a loser mentality. Anyways, so gentleman got a hold of me and he was very respectful. And uh, he was like, hey, some of that's not necessarily true. And he's like, here's my credentials. And I'm like, okay, anyone can say they have any kind of credentials on the internet. I can't go into it too much, but this man gave me more details about what happened that night than I had ever heard. I have no doubt in my mind that he absolutely was there and he was a, a pilot. Um, but after he explained things, I now have way more questions than I have answers. And for six months, I have been beating my head against the wall and trying to ask other air defenders, why did he say this? Because this is not what I'm understanding and this doesn't make any sense. And we've sat there and like, I've drawn pictures on a whiteboard to try and understand what this man was saying and why it was like, 
to, to paint a picture. I was being a detective and it still doesn't make any damn sense. So I feel like somebody somewhere got the watered down version and I, I really, I want to know more. Saline is a solution of salt and water. That's what, that's what I thought, right? Ward Carroll and HLC. I'll check them out, man. Is a 50 cal too much for home defense? No. Never. HLC bringing the smoke. Ain't he the guy that plays DCS? He might be. Thoughts on ODA being permanently stationed in Taiwan? I That Taiwan situation... It's, it's, I know what they want to do now, but I want to dig into history and figure out why it mattered back then. Did we discuss the Minuteman 3 yet? Might have missed it. Uh, I mean, if you'd like to talk about the Minuteman 3. Minuteman 3, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a, it is America's premier and chosen intercontinental ballistic missile. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what the range is, but the speed is a staggering Mach 23. Um, now, keep in mind, you're like, oh, that's a hypersonic. We've had a hypersonic? No, not necessarily a hypersonic, because some people, like, that write, might rhyme with schmusha, yeah, uh, think that a hypersonic is anything that goes over Mach 5. And while they are technically correct, to me and everybody else in the world, a hypersonic object is an object that is moving at hypersonic speeds in its terminal phase which for a ballistic missile is not. For cruise missiles is not. So like, it's not really a thing except for the AGM-183 Alpha, which we just tested. And I don't know about those capabilities yet. But anyways, uh, exo-atmospheric splits open, does whatever it's gonna do, flips, turns, um, you know, splits apart, you know, launch boost, apogee separation and terminal, and then goes on in and makes a lot of, you know, I'll say the, the, what the fat electrician does, the bad guy to baloney, which is great. Have I ever thought about going over tank movies and telling us everything they fucked up? Hmm. Considering I used to be a tanker, I could, I, I suppose, but I don't know everything about everything. I will tell you as a tanker, Fury was probably one of the more accurate. I mean, aside from the final scene, the final scene, like, you know, a showdown and, uh, and then somebody made a video that like, this is an actual thing because Audie Murphy, no. Audie Murphy was an infantry NCO. He hopped on a 50 cal, told his guys to leave, and held off an SS battalion. Which, don't get me wrong, stone's a fucking steel. But at the same time, number one, wasn't part of that tank. Broke a rule. Number two, told his guys to abandon him. Broke a rule. Number three, engaged by himself without maneuvering on the enemy. Broke a rule. I'm just saying, it worked. But it shouldn't have. Okay? Um... But uh, Fury is probably one of the more accurate movies I've ever seen. Like, he even says on the way, which is something we still say to this day when you fire. Um, <laughs> Glad Hobbs is dead. HLC Phoenix 06 <laughs> requesting coordinates. I would love to give them to you. That guy was just, yeah. Where I, was I deployed anywhere? Yes. Um, I deployed to Afghanistan in 2010, 2011. Um, I was in uh, an undisclosed location in Southwest Asia, uh, all of 2016, literally from January to December. And then um, if you count Korea, I don't like, it's just an overseas tour. Um, but yeah, Korea, uh, 2012 and 2013. That's okay. I don't, I don't take, um, I don't take it serious when people say some stuff like that. I really don't. Uh, it would be extreme comedy if they managed to slap meteors on the F-16s. I would love to see meteor missiles on an F-16. I mean, it probably is. F-16, Britain, Britain, I think, has F-16s. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm almost positive that they have F-16s. Because that is one of our, like, until the 35 came out, that is, like, the premier export aircraft for the United States. So Mariners are Neil from Family Guy, Lisp and everything. Nukes got it, the worst in boot camp. Ask your sister what stop nuking it means to her. I like that. I'm going to have to ask her. Stop nuking it. Have I ever seen Polish Air Defense Project, uh, Pilka, and Nauru? I have not. I would actually... So, very recently we had a um, Norwegian... Norwegian? No. Sweden. A Swedish student come through. I don't know. Somebody in, in Sweden is going to be like, he said we were Norwegian. Yeah, I'm going to fuck him up. I, that, was, that was like a mix of like four different voices. I'm sorry. And... Um, he, uh, this dude, normally, when I work with host nation partners and other nations, 
I'm going to be real with you. All of them that I've ever worked with, with the exception of this dude, are hot garbage. Like, they're just not good. I can, I can air defend circles around them. I can crush them in every way. This man was arguably one of the most highly intelligent air defenders I have ever fucking met. Like, he was a beast. And he was learning in English. Like, this man was amazing. Um, and he taught us a lot about foreign air defense systems that we didn't know. Because, I, I mean, like, we don't really rub elbows with those guys. And I would love to know more about um, friendly and enemy air defense systems. The news is depressing? Absolutely. Submariners tend to have daughters, more daughters and sons. I'm a submariner off of USS Key West. No shit. And can confirm something about more dudes than gals. The balls adjust the tiny dudes accordingly. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know what to do with this information, Navasa. No, I know I did ask, but thank you. The Trident SLBM is better. Better is arbitrary, okay? Better when when missiles like this missile's better than this missile, you really gotta look at things. Um, is it a smaller missile than the Minuteman 3? Yes. Is it a faster missile, technically, than the Minuteman 3? Yes. Minuteman 3 does Mach 23, uh, Trident does Mach 24. Uh, so slightly different there. But um and honestly, being sub-launched is super fucking cool. It just looks crazy. This, this missile coming out of the ocean. It just looks awesome. Um, I don't know range and payload capabilities off, off the top of my head. So better is kind of... Mm, mm. Kinzel is just an air-launched ballistic missile. Absolutely it. They took, an, they took an Iskander and they strapped it to the bottom of a jet. Does it achieve hyperso hyper, hypersonic speeds? Yes. As it goes exoatmospheric, it achieves hypersonic speeds. Is it moving hypersonic speeds when it impacts the target? No. But if that's your definition of hypersonic because it achieved those speeds, then the V2 is hypersonic. The Scud is hypersonic. The Minuteman 3 is hypersonic. The Trident is hypersonic. I mean, if that's people's def definition. Oh, hold on. Feel like I'm missing some. Roto, what's up, dude? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Well, at least since last week. Oh, I will tell you guys, next weekend, I or next Friday, I will not be on stream. Um, I hope I got some good content coming your way, uh, but I will be uh, handling some other things that I need to handle. I will not be here, but maybe next, like, Sunday, maybe have to ask Mrs. Linecrosser. We'll see. I'm about to make you feel old, habit. I graduated high school in 2011. I was finding the Taliban strongholds before you found your way to second base, Raven Queen Shinobi. You mother. Okay. I never actually found the Taliban strong. I mean, kind of. I got given some information and passed it off to the Marine Corps, but yeah. I'm still on the road with my airplane. Blew the transmission in Texas. Stuck in Amarillo for a few days. Amarillo is a nice city, though. I mean, it has nice areas. Stay at the La Quinta if you have to. The La Quinta, affordable, very nice. Uh, I stayed there myself. Love Texas people. Total random people just help. Have a good week in your Discord. Had a bunch of nut jobs. Fun. <laughs> Roto, I'm sorry, man. There's a whole, whole bunch. HLC, I'm about to graduate. Where are you? you mm. Look up the Polish tank. Which Polish tank? Polish have had a lot of tanks. Meteor plus F-16 plus Ukrainians. Meteor missiles on F-16. Nope, UK does not have F-16s. I stand corrected. I know that the UK in recent years have been kind of. So the UK used to design their own aircraft. I don't think they do that anymore. Um, I know they run the Eurofighter Typhoon, but the Eurofighter Typhoon is a conglomerate of a couple different countries coming together to, to design an aircraft. Um, I think they design their own munitions, the Meteor missile, but I don't think they design their own aircraft anymore. I know they did, like the Hawker Hurricane, the Spitfire, those were both United Kingdom. I just, I don't know. You should do an HLC and the kid challenge coin for the store. I do, Ryan, I need to make more challenge coins. I used to have a bunch. Uh, maybe Mrs. Linecrosser will, you know, let me buy some more. I do. 
Uh, she'll let me buy it anytime I want. Do I have a favorite accent? <clears throat> My favorite accent to do is the buff because it comes really so naturally. I just really push my lip up a little bit and I talk kind of like uh, in a whispery voice and I just uh, project a little bit more. But uh, the, the buff voice comes really simple. And, uh, you know, when I'm using this voice, I can talk about anything under the sun. Like I can go over here and I can talk about my water. I can talk about the dog bones over there. I can talk about the fact that the dogs aren't in here with me because they're downstairs and being fat with their family. But, yeah, it's a really easy voice to do. So it's probably my favorite voice to do. Um... To be fair, it was ISIS. Yeah, I heard that. Wyoming boy about to graduate. Graduated in 72, retired thinker? Wow. I graduated in 08, guys. HLC, the kid, challenge coins. Where are they at, though? I, I, I will get there. I have one. I think I have one of my challenge coins left. I don't. I never got ones with the kids on it, but your Wi-Fi is having a seizure right now. Bro has a Discord? Wyoming boy, I, of course, have a Discord. It's 18 and up. Are you 18? That's the thing. Graduated in 97. Ooh. Class of 2024. Oof. Everyone stole our air defense. Yeah. Your stuff rocks. Leroy, your stuff rocks. I'm sorry. I haven't seen your stuff, but I would. If you if you create stuff, I'll look at it. 14 Tango graduated high school in 2021. No. Warsuit. No. Class of 88. Class of 97. Thoughts on the gri Gripen E. I don't know enough about the Gripen. I need to look into it. I actually was pronouncing it wrong because I called it Gripen. And a bunch of people in chat were like, that's not how you pronounce it. And I was like, fuck, I've never seen one. So I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I got my good enough degree in 02. Yeah. C's get degrees, boys. Remember that. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't ever remember that. Class of 89, Rob. Damn, Daddy Rob. Florida can get you canceled. It's already canceled. Can't, can't get me canceled. They're already canceled. Damn. You got out of the Navy in 08? I enlisted in 09. Graduated two years ago? Robert, don't make me feel that old. Thanks again for the laughs. HLC, you gotta go. Stay true to your work. I look forward to what's next. P.S. Have you read the script yet? Uh, the script? No, Archangel, I have not. I'm so sorry. I know you sent it to me. I gotta look at it. I'm so, so sorry, man. HLC forever? I mean, guys, I gotta retire sooner or later, so, you know. I'm a 15 Echo to graduate in 2017 at a 15 Tango school this year. No shit. Aviation. I'll be honest with you. I, I maybe might be right. A 15 Tango should be maintenance. A 15 Echo electrician? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Discord link is busted. I'm dead guy. Uh, Wolfram, some of y'all, I mean, did you guys just drop it in there? You turned 21 in OIF2 in Iraq. No shit, Jay. I turned 21 in Afghanistan um, in 2011. That was a pretty interesting birthday. It was pretty interesting. Class of 08, 88. Hotel for three years. No shit. Uh, HLC isn't the buff. He can't just keep this up for like 50 years or something. I can try. Well, that, that already. I know the, the Discord link in my beacons. I'm literally, as soon as I get off stream, I'm going to, I'm going to be fixing that. The buff never retires. What's a photon torpedo? Moses may have parted the Red Sea, but I'm going to widen it. I should probably make that into a shirt. Class of 88, 11 Bravo Desert Storm Vet. I want to make a joke, Patrick. I, I'm so glad you donated, but I'm... Can I make a joke, Patrick? Can I? I really... I'm going to make the joke. I don't, I don't even care what he says. I want to make the joke. Patrick. So you were a Desert Storm Observer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> no hey man thank you for what you do i just I, it's it's a fun joke to make it's a it's a fun fun joke to make um you turn 21 at the bar mirandy need more f18 what oh man i gotta work on that voice i really need to you only graduated in 93 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Patrick. I, I got to give you a hard time, dude. Can't wait till my grandpa and always talks like the buff. Probably will. The buff is forever. Can we hear the 22? I got to be able to hear myself. It's weird like that. What do you want to hear from the 22? See, I can't do this voice for too long because I do these heavy breaths and then I'll get lightheaded. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's hard, man. I'm sorry. If I, uh, you want to see more AC 130? You want to see more AC 130, huh? Well, we're, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. HLC, my adopted dad was a C-130 pilot in Desert Storm. He says he was a taxi driver. I mean, he's not not really wrong. Navy HM-1 uh, SF FMF Desert Storm. Dad. I don't know. Navy's weird. Y'all, like, you don't have ranks. You have rates. Like, I mean, you're like a second-class petty officer, but you're like, oh, I'm a, I'm a BF-2 or some shit. I don't, your, your ranks and shit are weird. My little sister is a GSM-3, and I have no idea what that means. Y'all's ranks and rates are weird. It's probably why, like, we, we keep our shit confusing for each individual branch because, like, it just helps curb stolen valor. Like, I could, I could never steal valor in the Navy. I, I, hey, yeah, I used to be in the Navy. What was your rank? Fucking E5. I, I don't know what that shit means. 21 is temporary. Buff is eternal. My fiance just heard you doing the F-22 voice. Now I need to explain to her why I'm listening to a flirty guy voice. Listen, I can talk like this as much as I want to. Oh my gosh. Are we almost at two hours? We've got about 10 minutes left. So, okay, we'll bring in the special guests. Uh, you can send them up, Mrs. Lion Crosser. You can come on up here too if you'd like to. Buff is the stuff. GSM-3, ain't that tissue? I don't know. AC-130 driver. <laughs> I'm not saying that, Crenshin. I visited the former Fort Hood in 2021. The liquor warehouse on base made so much sense. Somehow Fort Meade with the NSA villain layer is less depressing. <laughs> Cavazos is just huge. Rest in peace, the former USMC Commandant Al Gray. I, yes, I, I think I saw something about that by, um, um, what's his name? Um, I think they're on their way. Mrs. Linecrosser just text, 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 text. I love you, dear. Okay. Well, here comes our special guest. We got about 10 minutes left. The master beta. The what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say, walking in. Walk in. No, we're talking about the master of the house has some in his legs. I, oh, oh, Jesus, don't say that. Oh, are you, be careful with that. Like, might want to move it over before you skew it. Yeah, that chair is kind of busted. Uh, what so if I end up on my ass, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna clip it. Um, <laughs> thoughts on the BS Halo TV series? I haven't seen the rest of season two yet. Season one was pretty bad. Right now we have Mama Line Crosser. This is my mom. Oh, where am I? There you go. Hi! There you go. See? And this is my nephew uh, over here. here. There, I, look, man, it's I, it's mirrored. I don't know how to keep up with this. Uh, stand at attention, Mom Line Crosser. There's no doggies. No, they're they're uh, they're still downstairs. Stand at attention. Oh uh, no, they're telling me to do it for you. Oh yeah, you should. I thought maybe they wanted to see my boobs or something. <laughs> no, I'll leave. I'll just I'll close the stream and go just crash into something hard. Uh, HLC, my grandpa was a Green Beret in Vietnam, Korean Vietnam, and the shit other shit in the Cold War. Opinion on the Hermes? I don't know anything about that. Welcome to the party, MLC. You're MLC now. You're Mama HLC. Oh, thank you. Uh, attention on deck. And Little Crosser. Yes, my nephew. He's thinking about joining... Uh... <laughs> I'm trying not to say jokes. I'm trying not to say jokes. <laughs> you can. He's going to be a member of the LGBTQ community, uh, no. also known as the United States Marine Corps. Uh, so, <laughs> yes, this is uh, my nephew. Um, let me see. Oh, everyone's saying... You love my family. Oh, they, they must have heard what you said. Oh, no. Last 10 minutes is no, it is not Lisa Turner. Mama Lion Crosser needs a character just to give characters grief. You probably could. Yeah, I can do that. You can do that? You want yeah. to be a character just to give characters grief? Yes, I can give you grief any day of the week. That's fair. Yes. That's fair. Mom and nephew Lion Crosser, someone get the, the clip. Hermes is a new potential Mach 5 airliner, which 
Oh yeah, I heard about the they're bringing back a, pretty much the what was the old one the Concord, similar idea. Finally, someone who can spank him. No, Roto. <laughs> no. No, he's kind of into that, and that's not my thing. So. That's okay. This is <laughs> how many minutes we got left. We got eight left, and I'm <laughs> counting them down as quick as I can. MLC Bring represents it. the DOD as a whole. Yeah, you you represent the DOD. Mama HLC needs to be the AWAX. I look like my mama. I don't look like my mama, do I? What is his favorite flavor of crayon? Black. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> you said that with such confidence. <laughs> Black is just... <laughs> also, that came out a little like south, you know, southern USA. What color is he like? Black. <laughs> just it was so... It's just where I come from. It's just where I come from. Oh my God. <laughs> This is a genuine pleasure to meet you live. Take care. Jeff, take it easy, man. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, eat more crayons, huh? Dark. I see where you get the humor from now, <laughs> fucking savages. <laughs> so, funny story. Speaking of that, what she just said we're with me, you know, it's just the kind of family we come from. So, my uh, Uncle Bill, uh, rest his soul, you know, he passed away a few years ago. But uh, he used to take me and my brother on, uh, he had, by the way, thank you so much, Jeff, for the 20 bucks. I appreciate it, man. Uh, he took us on a... Um, inner tubes down this canal and i was in the boat with my uncle and then my brother was on the inner tube and we were just cruising on down and we see a bag on this little island it's just a grocery bag and i'm like keep in mind i'm like seven years old and my brother's probably 10 and um he goes he go or i said maybe it's drugs and he goes maybe it's porn or vice versa and my uncle my uncle bob or bill was like drugs porn where do you guys learn this stuff in me without missing a beat? I was like, just the kind of family we come from. That's what, And so, like, that is known throughout my family that it's just the kind of family we come from. The black one's taste of, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying anything. I'll go back and read it. There we go. Big black crayons. No. No. He's not going to have a good time at boot camp. He's not going to have a good time at boot camp. Uh, you know, I've the, heard that before. Now in boot camp, they let them have cell phones and they get to eat whatever yeah. they want. And you know, it's, it's not. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I'm sure it's still difficult. Hummer needs to be a Stallone type voice. You know, I could do that. Actually, that wouldn't be a half bad idea. Stallone Hummer. I'll put that on the notes. Cause yeah, hang on. It was the freaking chair. You lie. You no. Lie. You know what? You no. have to wait for the quietest you want, you part. You want to call me a liar? No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> this is a closed room. Do it. Yes. Nope. Do it. I will whoop all over you no, in front no. of God and everybody. I don't oh, care. Hang on. Wrong Wrong timing when typing. Hold on. Are you going to post more content? Yes, Joshua. I need to I need to get like back on a schedule. I've been so busy, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, wrong timing when typing. Mommy. Mommy Lancer is the best. I think he means line crosser, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm dying. Wax is the secret part of the food pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> 737 Max or V22, which one are you more safe in? I'm going to say 737 Max because civilian is always... Every time someone says military grade, it's always the lowest cost shit. It's the worst. The Hummer should be Arnold. I consider that because like the flat top haircut and stuff he used to have, but I don't know. I like I want to keep Arnold as Austria. So maybe. Navy's here to transport, transport you to where you need to go, nephew line crosser. I need to get you there. Don't test her. It's a small room, boy. Do it. <laughs> she is the AWACS. Knows all, sees all. USMC has their own personal Uber called US Navy. Oh. Is this Mama Line Crosser? Yes, this is Mama yes. Line Crosser. And this is Nephew Line Crosser. He, why does your face look so red in my camera? I don't know. That's because you're probably not in the light. Probably. Yeah. That light's only on 15%. Really? Yeah, I think it becomes like the sun. I see the light. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mama Line Crosser explains Sister Line Crosser. They've all met KC, so. Um, yeah, she's special. She's very, <laughs> she's very special. Uh, yeah. It's kind of all the siblings, though. Mama is a Line Crosser. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Don't ever change. Well, I, Thank will, you. I will try not to. <laughs> <laughs> she's good to me. I mean, she, she look, look, okay. She whooped my ass as a kid, but. I deserved every single one of them. Every single one of them. I, I cannot think of a single time that I got an ass whooping that I did not deserve. Now, now do I look like the type of person that's going to ass whoop my kids? Okay, yes. hold on. Now, my dad <laughs> hit harder, right? He had the belt, but she had more creativity. 
and I tell you Hot Wheels racetracks, uh, spatulas, coat hangers, um, pretty much anything within reach, I would get beat with whenever I was, whenever I had a case of the fuck arounds. So, like, that was what it is. HLC, get him to become a 14 Tango. We'll be nice uh, to him, I promise. Yeah, go ahead and be a Tango. Tango? Yeah, I'm a 14 Echo. So, 14 Tangos are the downrange stuff. Um, Mom needs to scoot in frame. You need to scoot in frame. This is, this is from Mrs. Line Crosser. Oh. Okay. That better? Yes. Creativity explains why he's into it. <laughs> Whoa, Roto. Come on, man. My mom says I'm special, too. I am I'm special. He is. Says so on his records. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hot Wheels. Those Hot Wheels racetracks, they like they, they welt up and then they go away. Just just keep it going. Uh, I, I was one against five. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you guys have to understand that. Also, you know? me and my brothers were kind of terrors. So we we had we talked about it tonight. We yeah. got kicked out of a couple of stores. Yep. Uh, you were trying to buy a shirt for Dad's... Uh, Birthday. I was trying to buy a shirt for their dad's birthday. I'm no longer married to that retard, by the way. Um, <laughs> anyway, I learned my lesson. I'm gonna get canceled. There it is. I just and they were. It was a. It was a clothing a men's western store, and they had those clothing racks that go in circles. You know. Well, him and his brother Eli. I I have his sister line crosser. I'm holding on to her because she's a toddler. They get under this. Thing at this rack of clothes, and they're spinning it around, and I'm just like, "You guys, knock it off, knock it off," and just trying to to get this thing done. And they were just like going to town, and they finally walked up and asked me to take my children and leave. Oh yeah, we got it kicked out. Yeah. Uh, so the the twenty two is just HLC reliving school. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, as someone who got his ass whipped by a TV antenna, I approve of the message. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yes, you look like your daughter, and she hits hard. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. U.S. Coast Guard. They're trying to get you to join the Coast Guard. Now, there's, a pro- Coast Guard. there's probably vets from everyone in here except for Space Force. I don't yeah. know. Do we have any Space Force in here right now? There's 450 people-ish in there right now. Space Force is the only uh, recruiter I haven't talked to yet. I would go talk to him, man. They don't have any rules. I, I just haven't found one yet. Oh, yeah, I'm that's looking. fair. That's fair. U.S. Coast Guard is the good life. Let me see. Mess with her and get out alive. Your sure. microphone's making my neck red. What? Oh, yeah. The Sorry. light. That's not really me. Yeah, this is where Ethan beat me today. Oh my oh. gosh! No, no. Did I did I lose connect? Okay, I was like, it was like no one saying anything for a while. Is there any Space Force vets at all? I don't know. Does anyone play an instrument? Yeah, I played the drums for like twenty years. I just got rid of my drum set when I have more room and I'm finally settled down after like I'm out of the army. I'm gonna get another one. But I used to. Uh, I, I play drums. Uh, you do you play anything? I pl- I've played a few different instruments, but not like. Play played, kind of lost interest in all of them. He lost interest in all of them. Now he just now he just plays with girls' hearts. Oh, if you got a, oh, oh. If you got a fifteen or sixteen year old daughter, here you go, here you go. He's he's a nice kid, plays lots of video games, has a car, what ish? Oh, not yet. Ish. I'm working on the car. No, okay, have, he has a car. He just doesn't have a license till next month. There you go. Doesn't get a license till next Whole month. month. Yeah. All right. Uh, you're not Whoa. a vet. Oh, well, I know you're not a vet, Randy. Uh, hey, what's up? I had five brothers, and what you got a sister though? I, so I got four brothers and two sisters. I think. Well, I don't really count. I think me. you don't count Lee. I don't count. Uh, Lee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I say you grew brothers. up with two other brothers and two sisters. Yes, yeah, so I yes. grew up with those, and then I, I count Scott too. Yeah, so that's, yeah, we count uh, Scott. We do. Uh, what car he has an Impala? It's a 2014 Chevy Impala. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chevy Impala. Instead of retire, instead of retiring, they get launched with the rest of the Helldivers. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Coast Guard took six months to get back to me. Navy took a day. That's fair. You play trumpet? Oh, no, he didn't. All right. We are, there we are. We're actually over the two hour limit. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to call it on that, guys. We're going to hit the button here. Uh, so I will not be on next Friday. I will not be live. I may be posting, you know, a lot more videos and there's some other things going on for the next week. So as always, do not give in to the 22 a day. Every single one of you is amazing. Right after this, I'm going to be updating the Discord link. So I apologize about that. But if you were, would like to support the channel, please go to habituallinecrosser.com. Get yourself some merch. We have new merch coming out as much as fast as possible. Uh, we are getting the buff hoodie back in stock. I know a lot of you guys wanted that in a hoodie instead of a shirt. So that will be coming at you. So um, do you have anything else to say? He's a good boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) See you guys. Bye. Bye.